In this video, we're gonna be talking about Kevin Kisner and what is in his bag after his victory at the WGC Dell Championship. Let's go butts around. Hit the ball. Hey guys, David Folk here on this channel. We do instructional videos and golf gear reviews just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, guys, we're out here at a golf tournament here. You can see I got the old Cole Chargers uh, jacket on. We are going to be playing nine holes with the boys today. Uh, we've been looking pretty steady and is, and just, just playing solid golf. So uh, in between the round today, we're going to be uh, doing some filming and talking about Kevin Kisner and what is in his bag. And we're going to start off with his driver. His driver is going to be the Callow way epic flash sub-zero driver he's going to be playing the aldola nv 2k xv green 65 tx shaft and this is going to be a very similar to the old uh, nv green shafts that has the same micro laminate technology or whatever aldola is calling it uh, but they basically made the thinner uh, each each section of the carbon fiber they've used aerospace technology and all that good stuff to try to make it a thinner laminate so that there isn't any issues and it's more consistent all the way through the shaft versus having maybe a spine or a dead spot or something like that so I've heard really good things about their new NV shafts this 2k XV shaft so I'll be curious to see if anybody else puts it in their bags it is gonna have a low kick point, low spin, similar to the old NV Green. So I'm, I'm gonna be curious to see what's going on there. Next for Kevin Kisner, we're going to be looking at the three wood. This is gonna be also a Callaway Epic Flash Sub-Zero. This is gonna be 13 and a half degrees. This is also going to have the same Aldola NV 2K XV shaft in it. And uh, that's gonna be a 75 gram TX shaft. So again, a little bit lighter shaft than other pros that we've seen, but uh, he was striking it well here at the Dell match play. So we're not playing too bad. A couple overs for a couple of these guys. You can see the clouds are starting to roll in a little bit here. Uh, taking a look at Kevin Kisner's five wood, he's gonna be playing the Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero. On this one, this is gonna be 18 degrees. He's gonna be using the Matrix Ozic Altus Hybrid shaft. Uh, I haven't actually used this one, so if you guys have used this Matrix uh, Ozic Altus Hybrid, I look forward to hearing those comments down below. I tried to look for it uh, when I was doing some demos and just couldn't find it. So if you guys have this or have demoed it, post those comments down below. I imagine it's low spin, uh, low uh, torque, as well as low kick. But uh, post those comments down below. Let me know if you tried it out, what you think. So we're a couple over after hole number six for a couple of my players. They feel like they're playing better uh, than the score reflects. So that's a good sign. That's you know, early in the season. So I'm not expecting uh, super perfection or, or really low scores right now. They're just continuing to work on their game, making that progress throughout the spring. Uh, and we have about six weeks or so until uh, state. So uh, they got plenty of time to, to improve and make that jump. Talking about Kevin Kisner and his irons, he's gonna be playing the Callaway UT irons, uh, three and four, and then he's gonna jump to the Apex Pros, and those are going to be from 2014. So he's not playing the new ones, he's playing the old ones. And uh, with those clubs, with those irons, he's gonna be playing the Nippins NS Pro 120TX shafts, which again, we've talked about several times because that's what players are playing. And they're quality shafts, so it's not like it's gonna be anything that's uh, too too boardy or too whippy or anything like that. They just have a smooth profile and, and, and they're played by you know, a couple of guys that we've already talked about this year. So uh, the irons are gonna be uh, a, a bit of a surprise that he's playing older irons and not jumping to the new ones, but at the same time, you know, having reviewed them, I wasn't necessarily super enamored with them myself. So I look forward to hearing those comments down below. If you have tried the new Apex Pros versus the 2014s, what did you think? A couple of you guys mentioned in the uh, Apex Pro review that I just did uh, that you caught a couple of flyers out of those. So I look forward to hearing those comments down below. If you've had similar issues to that or if you really like them and pick them up, Post those down below. Well, we're, we're playing well. Uh, we're definitely, I think, going to uh, win this tournament. We're playing that well comparatively to other schools. So uh, I, I don't foresee too much of an issue and, and being victorious. And it's more just a continual player improvement uh, amongst our players as well as uh, continuing to have fun and, and learning and growing in the game.
Uh, looking at his wedges, his wedges are actually going to be Titleist SM7s. He's going to be playing the uh, 46, 52, and 58 wedges. Uh, so those are going to actually have the Nibbin NS Pro 125 uh, shafts in them versus the 120 and the irons. Uh, and it's probably just to give a little bit more control, a little bit more feel with those wedges as opposed to his iron. So uh, it's interesting that he is repped by Callaway, but uh, he's gone with the Titleist wedges for his short game. But well, we finished strong. A couple of birdies happened uh, toward the end of the round for a couple of our guys, so that's encouraging. Uh, looking at Kevin Kisner, talking about the end of his bag, uh, he's going to be playing the Odyssey White Hot Number 7 Pro, uh, and he's going to have the Super Stroke Traxxon Tour 2.0 grip in that. Um, this is what I would deem to be the fang putter or something similar to it. I personally am not a fan of the white hot, but I know that some people really, really like it. Then you look at his ball, he's actually going to be playing the Pro V1 from Titleist, and his golf grips are going to be the Golf Pride Tour Velvet Golf Grips. So guys, look forward to hearing your comments down below. What do you think of Kevin Kisner and what's in his bag? Anything surprise you? Uh, maybe it's going to be going with the old uh, NV or the new old NV shaft from Aldila. Or maybe it's the 2014 uh, Apex Pro irons. Look forward to hearing those comments down below. And of course, guys, while you're down there, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because YouTube likes that. Thanks for watching, and we'll chat with you next time.